the telenozoin centroid x and y of the shaded area. So the equation for the centroid is x bar equals integral x squiggly dA over the integral of dA. So let's figure out what a dA would be. We can do it either horizontally or vertically. Let's pick a vertical dA. So there's a little dA right there. So the uh, width of the dA is dx. And the height of the dA is just going to be y. So we could write dA is equal to y dx. Now we're going to want this y to be in terms of x because we don't want to we want the variable the same as the differential. So we're going to change the y for x cubed. So now we have x cubed dx. Putting that into here and here, we get x bar equals the integral of x. Now x squiggly is to the centroid of dx. So it's this distance here, which is also x. So x squiggly is x. dA is x cubed dA, dx. And we'll integrate also dA x cubed dx. <coughs> Combining these, we have x to the fourth. So we have the integral of x to the fourth dx over the integral of x to the third dx. And we're going to integrate this from 0 to 1. So the integral of that would be x to the fifth over 5 and x to the fourth over 4. So if we put in 1 for x, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, then we get 1 fifth divided by 1 fourth, which is 4 fifths. So x bar is at 4 fifths. And then y bar is the integral of y squiggly dx, dA, over the integral of dA. Now in the denominator, dA is the same thing as before, it's just the area, so we'll put in a one-fourth there. Now y squiggly, we can use the same dA, but this time y squiggly goes to the centroid of our dA. dA. And that centroid distance there is just one-half y. And again, we want that to be an x, so it's one-half x to the third. So we have the integral of, move the one-half out here, x to the third, that's our y squiggly, and we have dA, x to the third, dx. So that's the integral of one half over one fourth integral x to the sixth dx. And again, we're going to integrate from zero to one. <coughs> so now we have x to the seventh over seven, one half over one-fourth from zero to one. So that gives us one-half times one-seventh over one-fourth equals one-fourteenth uh, one divided by one-fourth, which is four over fourteen, or two-sevenths. <coughs>